Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are taking a look at the SCX. It is a machine pistol. Spawns here in home pistol, machine pistol, SCX. It's chambered in 4.6 by 30 millimeter. And you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, what else is chambered in that? That sounds familiar. Yes, the MP7 from h &K. It's chambered in the same caliber. It comes with its own funky magazine. What? And loads thusly. Let's see if I can get it. Hey, weird. Let's check it out. The magazines on the SCX. This is a 15 round funky doodle curved magazine. Get it out of there. It goes inserts there and kind of slaps into the handle. And no, I checked the MP7 magazine, even though it's chambered in the same size round, uh, does not fit in there. So no luck there. Let's check out the controls on the SCX. Well, not very few. This is the magazine and you press down on the trackpad. It will release the magazine. There it goes. And it is tricky to get back in. Actually, I have physical reloading turned on. It is a bullpup uh, pistol. So it actually is going to load way back here. This is the slide, not this part up here, but this part down here is the slide. So rack the slide to get one in the chamber. Douche. And hey, there you go. Up on the trackpad is the safety. We've got safe in this down position. Click, click, click. And full auto in this forward pointing position. Woo, fun times. Again, it will lock open on empty. You can eject the magazine by pressing down on the trackpad, but it does not have a slide release. So sliding around on the left side of the controller won't do anything. You've got to, um, or you can uh, pull back on the slide and release it right now if you want to. It will not do that on an empty magazine. So if you do this, if you pull back on the slide and release and the magazine is empty, it will not release. So you've got to put in either no magazine or a fresh magazine, like so, tricky, pull back on the slide and release, and you're good to go. See what attachments will fit on this little guy. Let's see, do we have any rails? Ah, uh, yeah, oh shit. <laughs> We've got top rails. Look at that. Where is it? There it is, there's my red dot. Hey, top rails, fantastic. Do we have bottom rails? Mm, no bottom rails. Oh, well, so can we take a compensator on here? Yes, we can. Lovely, how about a suppressor? Ooh, that too, looks pretty, hey, looks pretty good as well. Give me, give me back my, it's right there. Stocks. Yes, the stock will fit right there, so the slide will actuate like so. Uh, one thing I noticed about the stocks, because some stocks go straight back, and some stocks go on the floor. No, some stocks go up after attaching. And I was worried that that was going to block the sights, and it's actually not too bad. Well, okay, that's bad. But if you pull it back into your shoulder, you can actually pull this one pretty close to your shoulder, almost into your shoulder. So if you want, you can get right up on these sights, even with an up de doodle kind of uh, stock here. It's a little better without that, though, I got to say. So if you, ah, if you don't drop stuff on the ground, if you have a choice, get the straight back one, and that'll be a little bit easier to navigate. Cool. Woo! Let's take a look at the sights. You may have noticed it's actually got two sets of iron sights. We've got one along the slide here on the bottom, and you've got this up and over thing, which has its own set of sights on there. And so you can use either set, which is kind of nice. I prefer the upper one, a little bigger, a little better cut out, a little easier to see. Um, you also have top rail on there, so you can put Proper red dot on there if you want. That it looks nice. Let us perform a recoil test. Now, you can not fire this in semi. You get full or nothing. So we're only gonna do the full auto mode and you cannot grab here on the front of it. So you can't do two handed, you know, proper rifle style. So we're just gonna do uh, the regular one-handed pistol style, hands next to each other in full auto. Here we go. All right, here we go. 
Ooh, good first round. And in the ceiling. So, hello. Big fat zero. Ooh, excellent first shot. Yeah, off the ceiling and coming back down. Boo. Let's try it with the compensator. Nope, off the paper. I did a bad shot, but you know what? I normally would re reshoot that, but since the re we went completely off the paper, I'm not going to bother. Uh, there's another zero, unfortunately. Suppressor. Gotta say, that looks kind of cool. Nope, again, off the ceiling and coming back down. That's another zero with the suppressor. Moving on. All right, I got high hopes for this with the stock. See how we do. Oh, huge improvement. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at the teeny tiny needle holes. All right, got a 10 on the first shot. Oh, eights and nines all the way down and an 8.8. .8. Nice. Stock and compensator. I have high hopes for you. Nine. 9.07. It looks like my hand might have drifted to the right a little bit. Look at that group. That's full auto, folks. Full auto. What? MP7, eat your heart out. Stock and suppressor. Ooh, 9.4. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. For full auto? Nice. There you have it, the SCX in 4.6 by 30 millimeter. Till next time. I will see ya. <laughs> yeah, put attachments on this. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to control. Ugh. Woo! Oh, nice.